we have a stage four lockdown that has been announced in Melbourne. We either fly out tonight or we're stuck in Melbourne. It's sold out. It's sold out? No, no. Hi guys, it's Masket. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Over the last week, the state of Victoria, which is in Australia where I live, saw an increase in coronavirus cases. So we are now back in lockdown for five days. In response to this, I decided to put a hold on the video schedule I had coming up for the next few weeks to film this video to give you guys some advice and some encouragement for this time. When the lockdown was announced, my friend Ali was visiting from another state in Australia, Sydney, and now he's stuck and quarantining with me in Melbourne. We had flights to return to Sydney in the midst of what was locked down. I'm sure that many of your trips and events have been cancelled as well, so I hope this video is able to entertain you and put a smile on your face. Enjoy the video. First morning of lockdown. How are you feeling? I'm glad we caught up on sleep, but I hate waking up late. If it's 12, I'll cry. It's 11.41 in the morning. <laughs> lockdown. Lockdown. Oh yeah, I've got to tell you, there's only there was only one case. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, we're going to Sydney. We're going to Sydney. <laughs> Ellie. How do I look? <laughs> Tell me what to do with my hair. You look fine. You seem good. What do you want to do? Bye. Here we go. Yesterday there was one new locally acquired case reported. That means that if it stays this way, we're going to Sydney. Well, I still have to go back because I have to go home somehow. We're going to Sydney. We're going to Sydney. We're going to go have breakfast. That's it. That's it. Skinny, what? Why? 20,116 test results received today. That's a strong number. I want to thank every single Victorian who went and got tested. So, it is now 2 pm, and Ali and I are just on phone calls to Service Victoria, to New South Wales Health, trying to figure out if we can actually fly or not. We've been on hold for like how long, Ali? On the last call, I was on hold for 30 minutes, and now I've currently been on hold with Jetsaw for 15 minutes. So it's, yeah. it's lots of fun. The thing is, our flight hasn't even gotten cancelled. It's not about getting to Sydney. The problem is that we don't know if we're allowed to leave our five kilometer radius to go to the airport. Hi guys, it has been a couple of hours and Ali and I successfully rescheduled our flights to after the lockdown, so let's hope the lockdown doesn't extend. We have decided to go on a walk just to get our body moving, get out, go for a walk if you're in lockdown, you're feeling a bit tired. Going for walks actually energizes me. Pressure and sunlight is the best remedy. We now have to wear masks outside, except if you are eating or exercising. We're gonna try and do a few stretches now. Yeah. Get the blood flow moving and everything. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have a sock and I have a shoe on, <laughs> we're using my shoe as a backdrop to hold the phone up, so. I'll show you. Don't worry, I'm not that weird. I actually wear both shoes. There it is, the lovely tripod. <laughs> I'm getting tan. This sunlight is strong. I'll go to the beach because it's out of my way. We're about to land back in Oahu. We're both pretty delirious, so we're going to have a steering contest. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I have a f***ing hair in my eye. Ah, I lost it. Yay! Oh my god, I did not think I was going to win. Wait, wait, can you move a little bit? <laughs> can you move a little bit? <laughs> so we came back from our walk a little bit ago, had some food and did a quick editing sesh. And uh, since there's not much to do in lockdown, we're going for an exciting second walk. Yeah! He's from Sydney, so he's only experienced one major lockdown. I, I can now officially say that I've lived <laughs> through a Victorian lockdown. Yeah, so. five day Victorian lockdown, not this four month one. Hey. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. You've lived through a stage I've lived, four. I've lived through a stage four. Going through this panorama. Panorama. This Pythagoras this theorem. Pandora box. I'm so thankful that we at least have each other. What did you do during your March lockdown? I took a break of six months where I thought I was going to be traveling around America and Go Europe. to Coachella. I had LA, San Francisco, Mexico, Coachella all booked, but uh, that didn't get to happen. I picked up a bunch of hobbies. I started painting again, took lots of photos from home, exercised, went for bike rides with my family, oh, nice. wherever it was allowed. I made a whole movie list of movies that I'd always wanted to watch. Can, you, can, we, put, can we insert? Yeah, of course. I made this 
really long list of all the movies that I'd always wanted to watch but had no time to do. I cooked a little bit, learned how to bake these vegan banana muffins, Whoa. which we should try. And yeah, that's about it. So reliving that whole experience now yeah. in summer. What did I do? I was editing a bunch. I was exercising so much. Went on walks with my sister. We actually didn't have the five kilometer rule at the start of lockdown. So we used to go to a different park every day. Oh, online school. I did online school. So yeah, we're about to go for another like, golden hour walk. walk. Mask on. Mask on. No mask off. Let's go. What about the self-confident girl? Guess you really need to be with her. Ali, imagine today times four months. <laughs> Actually, more than four months if you count the March lockdown. But it's fine because we get through it and we learn things and we stay positive. That's what makes us stronger. Playgrounds are still open. How good is that? My brother put these blinds on the fence and now he's just projecting the screen onto it. I was just scrolling through my phone while I had things importing and there's this group on Facebook called Melbourne Gal Pals and it's just 70,000 girls from Melbourne. <laughs> Can you read it out? Yeah, this girl post <laughs> probably the funniest thing I've seen in a while. She says, <laughs> this shit's gone too far now. I'm so upset and disappointed. The Red Rock Deli sweet chili and sour cream chips have been stripped from every shelf in my five kilometer radius. This is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling Dan! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm dead. That's so Mad good. That was, that was funny. Mad respect. It has 969 reacts. It deserves all of them. It deserves all of them. So Let's see people's so. replies. Somebody's like, <laughs> my mom couldn't even get a potato. <laughs> oh, someone sent a photo of them with the chips. Oh. Oh. This girl got the chips. She's one of the lucky ones. I got some food. Whoa, that bread looks so good. I know. Hi. So I just had so, a shower. Sure, so I'm brushing all of the wet follicles just onto my bed sheets. <laughs> Please, just throw them. No. Ah! Just throw my bed into the ocean at this point. I am under the water. Please help me. I just had a shower and it was really nice and I got my PJs on. Or OTD. What are we doing tomorrow? Well, I'm gonna wake up early and make the most of the day. And Ali's like, no, let's sleep until like 10, 10 30. You're in lockdown and you don't have exactly a lot of things to do. You have no commitments, you have nowhere to be. You would logically think you would spend that time catching up on sleep, taking the time to slow down. It's 1.33 in the morning, and this one wants to wake up at 7.30 and seize the day, and go on runs, and go on a walk, and like plan out to-do list. I always say, sleep is so good, I don't know why I constantly deprive myself of it. Like, sleep is one of the top three best things in life. Sleep, food, and- And hot showers. Just, just break the whole house. It's just fantastic. Good night. It is the next day and we just had some burgers, Beyond Burgers, they were really good. And we kind of had a little gab outside, but the gab was obviously allowed because it was Ali here and my brother's girlfriend, so partners are allowed to go to each other's houses. Tonight we have a really fun activity plan which you guys can do at home too. Last night my brother set up an outdoor cinema with a projector on the fence. He put some couches and some chairs in front of it. Today we are going to try it out. We got some strawberries dipped in chocolate, popcorn, licorice. we got licorice. I look like a white girl with this I look scarf on. <laughs> wearing jeans and a scarf <laughs> in a f***ing virus yeah. zombie pandemic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow both of our Instagrams, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. When you're